measure of this axis, this rotation axis. Uh, so the X is the volume is mounted on the bracket, and the bracket is now mounted on the uh, on the holder. Uh, here the laser has the most convenient position of the laser head is to the top, uh, and it's now the beam uh, is falling onto the uh, on the wall. Uh, this is the initial position. So uh, the when you rotate, uh, the beam should be on the mirror and on the reflector. So this is uh, the initial position. Now the alignment should take place. When the alignment is done uh, of the wall, the initial one, uh, we we shall check it. So first. Uh, it has to be rotated with ref retro reflect reflectors and you should see on 3D uh, that the crosses are in the middle. Now we rotate it by 180 degrees. That we have a mirror and the beam is reflected now from the mirror and the beam shall be in the same place. Now it's time to mount the interferometer. Uh, when we mount the interferometer, we should have again the beams close to each other. Now the system is measuring. So now the wall is ready. We can search for the beam by pressing this button uh, for optimal beam position of the wall. Now the wall is searching for the position. Now the position is done. So now what we can do is we can link wall, uh, which uh, by pressing the wall link button here. Uh, during the link wally procedure, uh, wally rotates and finds and uh, calibrates itself. Now the calibration is done. The wally link turn, turned green. It means that we can start uh, preparation, further preparations for angular positioning of, of axis. When we enter angular positioning, uh, we have to generate uh, CNC path for the machine and we want to generate it uh, for off-axis measurements So we get into a tutorial for generating the off-axis measurement and now we should follow with the tutorial uh, The first thing before we start any, uh, any further operation We shall localize which is our main axis and which is our auxiliary axis Main axis is the axis uh, which shall be compensated during the movement of the wally. Uh, while auxiliary axis is just the axis along the laser beam. In our case, on our machine, the auxiliary axis is this axis, because this is the axis along the beam. Uh, we need to know the distance, yet uh, this is not the axis of our interest. What we are going to do uh, as a main axis, what we are, uh, are going to use is the uh, Y axis on this machine, because uh, the because uh, for the off-axis movement compensation of the wally, that this axis will have to work and this axis will have to be modified. So this is our y-axis as the main axis uh, and z-axis on this machine as our auxiliary axis. Now we have to uh, put those uh, information in the, uh, in the software. So our linear main axis is y. Uh, and now we have to read from the machine the actual value of rotation axis, the actual value of the main axis, and the actual value of those auxiliary axis. And we have to put them here in the uh, boxes. Now we read from the machine control the actual value of the rotary axis, in our case it's axis C, uh, the actual value of Y axis, uh, it's 101.053 millimeters, and the actual value of the linear auxiliary axis, in our case it's axis Z, 302.839 millimeters. Now we go further with the tutorial. So in the tutorial it is that we shall rotate in C axis by 45 degrees, which we are going to do now. So we rotate the uh, uh, Z axis, C axis, the axis that we will measure at 45 degrees. We proceed to the next step. In the next step, we shall rotate Wally. Five forty-five degrees. No direction. The arrows on the the arrows on the screen. Uh, each one press of the arrow rotates the Wally by forty-five degrees plus and forty-five degrees minus. 
Uh, so now we go further and now we should move with the machine with uh, main axis so in our case the Y axis as uh, as long as we uh, have the beam back on the screen so now we try to rotate by Y axis we rotate move by in Y axis Now the machine is moved, crosses are back, uh, so we go to the next step. In the next step, the software wants us to uh, put here the value, the actual value of Y axis in the machine at the rotated uh, state. So now we read from the machine. It is minus 4.457 millimeter and we put this value in this box. 4.475 millimeters, and we go to the next step. In the next step, we rotate the uh, the rotated uh, the measured axis again at 45 degrees uh, to 90 degrees. Now, what we do it. Okay, it's done. In the next step, we rotate the volley by 45 degrees. So that's in position against the laser. And now we, re we repeat the movement of the machine in Y axis as long as the signal is detected and back. Now it, we are again in. Uh, uh, in the current uh, proper position, the laser is in, in the proper position against the uh, the wally uh, in phase eight. So we have to now read again from the machine the current value at 90 degrees rotation of c-axis of y. So this is minus 59.009. Now we And uh, now all the measured values are gathered here, uh, are gathered here, and when we press next, uh, then we get back to the software. Now uh, the proper path of the machine is generated. So now what we have to decide is we have to decide which axis it is, it is to be, what is the feed rate of the machine that we want to use. Yeah, it's better to set higher feed rate and then regulate it on the knob of the machine. Uh, the stopping time, so it depends on the machine and the dynamics of the machine. Seven seconds is the mm, optimal, but it can be made shorter. And then what ma what kind of the machine control do we have? Is it final Siemens Heidenheim? Mm, uh, what is the file number in the structure of the files? And how many, what are, what is the range of angles that we want to measure? So now it's set from zero to 350, but it can be made uh, either a lower value or a larger value. So it's no difference. Step, so uh, how, how often we are gonna measure. Clearance, uh, so for backlash compensation, one, one second is one degree is usually enough. And the generate has to be pressed. Now the software is, the, the path is um, generated. The path now shall be saved to a file and transferred to the machine as a G-code file and transferred to the machine. Uh, when it is transferred to the machine, uh, it, is enough to, uh, it is enough to press start uh, on the software and start in the machine. The measurement is identical to the measurement of linear uh, uh, or in-axis um, measurement in-axis in positioning. The rest of the operations is identical. This is the only difference that we presented. Thank you.